Greetings everyone. This video is brought to you by the makers of self-discipline. Self-discipline is the seventh pillar word at Champion School. Each month we focus on a new one just to help build amazing character. We started something new in grades three through eight. Each month we write about that pillar word. And so the purpose of this video is just to share um, the fourth grade five paragraph essays, you know, on self-discipline. So we'll feature every student and little snippets from each one just to celebrate and savor how far they've come in writing this year. We also have started something new at Champion School where where we're going to share our writings with a buddy class. And so the pictures you see right now are of sixth grade, um, working with fourth grade, you know, to just savor and work together, um, to savor our writing and work together to celebrate our writing and to learn from each other. It's kind of nice to write when you have an audience. So just what is it that good writers do? Well, good writers want to write so that the reader wants to read it. And so, so one of the things we've learned to do is to write with a hook. A hook makes the reader want to read it. It could be a question. Questions engage the reader and make the reader want to read it, but also background. Everything you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch gives the reader a picture and, and, and makes the reader want to read it as well. But we can also pack it full of similes and metaphors and onomatopoeia and powerful words. That's what makes the reader want to read what we're, what we're writing. But writers also have to have evidence. And so we're learning to do evidence in logical order and to elaborate on that evidence. And that's what makes good writing. So here we go with the fourth grade writing. Here's Mason. Look at his beginning paragraph. Walk, work, play, walk. And I do this every day, but this is all the source of one thing only, dot, 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 self-discipline. Self-discipline is the key to success and many other doors striving to be open. And as you trudge, wow, hear that word? As you trudge your way through life, all the doors will finally smell the breeze and see the light of freedom and success. Man, what a metaphor. And here's his next paragraph. Pew, 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 take cover. As I play Apex Legends, my hands are sweating to close the game. The timer is running out. I scream and jump with joy and with fear. As the game comes to a finish, my team won. And all it took was my team and our self-discipline. Well, what does it mean to have self-discipline? See that question in the middle of the paragraph? Wow, it means you don't give up. It's the source of life for life itself, and it is a self-motivator for anything you might want to do. Here's his intro paragraph. You know self-discipline? Do you know what to do to level up to self-discipline? Or maybe you don't know how self-discipline works, and how can you use these to accomplish goals? And then he goes on with more paragraphs, and finally ends with, what does self-discipline mean to me? I think self-discipline is the key to life and that if you have no self-discipline, you'll have a bad life. And it also means not to give up on something that needs to be done, per se work or other things necessary. That is what self-discipline means to me. That was Mason's. Wow, Mason. Here's the next one. It's Dylan's. Discipline. What is, so what is discipline? Discipline is the ability to do things when you don't want to do them. Discipline is the key to success. You have discipline. See her blend of questions and statements. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. The ball was pounding against the floor of the gym. Sweat was dripping down my face. Buzz. Halftime began and quickly passed. Everyone was sent on to court, acting as aggressive as a lion. See that simile? Woo. My team passed the ball. Boom, boom, swish. We got the point. All this was the work of dot, 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 self discipline. See, there are other amazing paragraphs, and she ends it with, in conclusion, to me, self-discipline means doing my work. Self-discipline means listening to the person talking. Self-discipline means learning. To me, self-discipline is one of the important things you can have. Wow, Dylan. Here's another one. Who has self-discipline? How can self-discipline get you somewhere in life? How does self-discipline help you in life? How do you have self-discipline? And she goes on with other questions. 
And then she says, "What is self-discipline? Self-discipline is the ability to control yourself and force yourself to work hard, even when you don't want to. Being self-disciplined means you succeed in your goals and have good habits, work hard, stay focused, and be persistent if you want to develop self-discipline. Developing self-discipline means setting a goal and recognizing your mistakes and what you can do better as you make them." She goes on with more paragraphs. And that was Kylia's. Wow. And then ends with good questions. You know, so are you self-disciplined? To me, self-discipline is being able to work hard, focus, and do good without messing around. Do you use good self-discipline? Way to go, Kylia. Here's another one: self-discipline. What is self-discipline? Self-discipline is where you push yourself to do something even if you don't want to. You keep going and don't stop. Why should you have self-discipline? Self-discipline could help you in the future. For example, if you focus in class, think about where it could get you to. It could lead you to a job, a peaceful house, and a successful life. Cool. She has more paragraphs, and then, and then here's another one further down. Knock, knock, knock. I come into the classroom and give in my homework. I sat down and started with the test. As time passed and the clock was ticking, tick tock, tick tock. I focused on my writing. I kept writing until my hands started to tremble. I'm almost done. I can do this. Yes, I can. As I finished the last paragraphs, the clock rang, ring, ring, ring. Time was up. Time's up. Pass your up your sheets. Called the teacher as I passed up my paper. I whispered, whispered to myself, "Was all the focus and confidence worth it? Yes, it was." Further down, she says, "So." Do you now understand? Self-confidence and self-discipline are two very important things in life. If you push yourself hard, you'll make it out happily. And ends it with: Imagine the doors of life opening and letting in a fresh breeze and the sun shining on you. A paradise, a happy place, a peaceful place. And you can get all of this if you use self-discipline and self-confidence. Wow, what a metaphor that was! If you listen, focus. And use self and use self confidence. You will ha- get a good future. All that I wrote about just now is thanks to self confidence and self discipline. Think about it this way: If you focus and do self discipline, you'll not only get awards, but you'll get respected, praised, and loved. That is what self self discipline forms. It forms life itself. Man, that was JC's. Good for you. Here's another one. Today I learned what self-discipline is, and it is awesome. But I kept wondering how to be self-disciplined. My teacher said, "Self-discipline is when you push yourself to work, complete your dreams, and complete life." Wise words. Wow. This next paragraph says, "Pant, pant, pant." I try to get my work done fast and correct. With one minute left, I'm working hard, and soon, slam! I slap my paper on my desk. The teacher said, "Time's up," and passed the papers up, and I am relieved. The next day was the test, and in the end of that paragraph, he says, "In in the end, I worked hard and got my goal." And he has other amazing paragraphs, and he ends it with. Self-discipline. It's one of the things that are important for life, and that is my opinion. But what's your opinion? You might not know what it means, but some do. When you push yourself to do something you don't want to do, that is part of self-discipline. And that masterpiece was by Connor. Here's another one. Work, walk, work, play, walk, work, play. I always do these steps all the days I was doing. Self-discipline. Self-discipline is the key to your goals. It's also when doors are closed. Then you trudge to the doors, and finally you feel the doors open, and you smell the fresh breeze of successes and goals. If you use self-discipline, then you can have successes and goals. Another paragraph of that person: Self-discipline. What is self-discipline? How do you work hard? If you work hard, it's the key to your success. Why? Self-discipline when you push yourself, even when you don't want to do that work. How is achieving your goals important? What are the successes of working hard? It is when you complete your goals or when you have good habits. What are some ways to accomplish your goals? Wow! And then in the end, 
This person says, what is hard work? One reason for self-discipline is when you push yourself, even when you don't want to. Like when you want to go play outside, but you have your homework. So your mind says, no, 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 do your homework. So you need to listen. Beautiful. And here she's, this person says, tick, tick. The peaceful clock was ticking by, by. I was thinking what to write. I had ideas to write. I was using self-discipline. Further down, she says, I was typing like a car zooming by with ferocity. The clock was ticking really, really fast and it was almost time to stop writing. Click, 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 click. I was typing with all my forces. Then I clicked submit. I was worked really hard, so I got to the finish line just in time. She has more paragraphs. Oh my gosh, that was Michelle's. What a beautiful job, Michelle. Here's the next one. Have you ever had self-discipline? Self-discipline is the key to success. And the more you accomplish, the more doors you open. Soon all the doors will open and you will feel the nice cool breeze of discipline. Her next paragraph says, run, gold, swish. The football flew across the field like a big eagle dashing down at its prey. The whistle blew, touchdown. The stingers made a touchdown. The whistle blew, halftime. And that beautiful writing was Natalia's. Here's the next one. Will you push yourself to never stop? Do you want to achieve something big? Will you use persistence to make, to make you earn something? Self-discipline is the focus to keep you going and to tell you what to do. And the person goes on and on. And that was Madison B. Wow, Madison. Here's the next one. What is self-discipline? Do you know what self-discipline is? Do you have self-discipline? Can self-discipline be successful in my life? Do you know someone with self-discipline? And that person goes on and later says, what is self-discipline? Self-discipline is like when you don't want to do your homework and you want to go outside and, and play, but your brain tells you, no, no, no. You're going to do your homework, no more excuses. And if you think about it too much, your brain will start to talk to you and it might say, work, play, work, play, <laughs> work, work. That leads me to one thing, self-discipline. Cool. And that person goes on and on. And ends with, do you know what happens when you work hard? When you work hard, it leads to success. Success is like a key, a key to two big doors. And when you open, it's like a cool breeze with a bright light, like when you're on stage. And so she ends it with, do you think success is important in life? Wow, Bria, that was amazing. Here's the next one. Have you ever done your work in class? If you do, do your work. Does your cranky teacher have to get you on the road to do your work? If they don't, that is self-discipline. Self-discipline is when you do what you need to do and you push yourself before your teacher gets mad at you. And then if the teacher doesn't have to get you on the road to do your work, then the door to success opens for you. That was so cool. We talk a lot about who drives you, you know? Is it me, you know, the teacher, or is it you? And we want it to be you, yes. This is a beautiful one. Wow, look at all of his paragraphs. To ha ends it, he ends it with, to have self-discipline, you have to push yourself. You have to do stuff without being told a million times. Beautiful, that was Adam's. Way to go, Adam. Here's another one. The more you work, the more open doors. Work, walk, willpower, hard work allows you to stay focused on your goals. Cool, and that was Carson. Do you have self-discipline? What is self-discipline? Are you self-discipline? Self-discipline means you have growth mindset and you learn from your mistakes and you find ways to avoid those mistakes. That was Mackenzie, Yahoo. Here's another, tick, tick. I was hitting my keyboard, zooming fast, writing as fast, as fast, zoom, zoom. I was writing so fast it felt like my keyboard was on fire. My hands got sweaty. I was writing about self-discipline. Self-discipline is like saying you're playing soccer and I was running back and forth with the ball zooming around. Then, boom, we won. I hit the ball in, my team was so proud of me. We were so happy, that's what self-discipline is. 
work hard and then you finish your accomplishments. And this person goes on. It was Madison C. Way to go, Madison. Here's another self-discipline. What is self-discipline? Self-discipline is where you push yourself to do it even if you don't want to. Do you have strong self-discipline? Does anyone have self-discipline? Self-discipline helps you get good habits and it helps you get rid of bad habits with good riddance. You can complete your goals. All you need to do is start with the smallest one and then achieve it and conquer it. You will have success in your life. All you got to do is have strength in your discipline. And then this person has more good paragraphs. Wow. And it was Patrick's. Wow. Way to go, Patrick. Here's the next. What is your opinion on self-discipline? Do you like self-discipline? What made you want to have self-discipline? It was a cold Christmas morning and I woke up to the sound of birds chirping and this person tells a long story of how how she used self-discipline. Cool Lily, that was beautiful. Here's another. Do you know what self-discipline is? Do you have self-discipline? What is self-discipline? And Does self-discipline make you happy? It was a sunny day. The trees were waving and the flowers were blooming. And this person tells the whole story. Look at that. Wow. And that was Desmond. And then he ends it with, now do you know what self-discipline means? Sweet Desmond. Here's another. Do you focus on class? Have you ever worked hard in class? Do you like to focus? Do you like sports? Do you know what self-discipline means? Have you ever done any sports? Do you like math? Have you learned a lot? And, and then the person goes on and on with many paragraphs. Cool. And that was Lincoln. Awesome, Lincoln. What is being self-disciplined? Do you know what self-discipline is? Do you do self-discipline? Self-discipline is pushing yourself to do stuff even when you don't want to. You have to work hard and focus to have self-discipline. You have to control yourself to have self-discipline. You can do small accomplishments at a time. Self-discipline creates Uh, just do it mindset. Learn from mistakes you made and and so it can help you get better. To have self-discipline, you have to have self-confidence. Self-discipline creates healthy habits and helps you accomplish your dreams. Click, click, click. My past writing was bad. And then he tells about how he used self-discipline. That was Andrew's. Way to go, Andrew. If you had a choice to pick between courage and self-discipline, what would you pick? Where would be a good time to use self-discipline? When will you start using self-discipline? Self-discipline, it's something you need to learn, something you need to experience. It's the key to success. This person goes on and on with beautiful writing and says, it's spring break and flowers were blooming and trees were growing as the sun rose up. I woke up at the crack of dawn and ate eggs and bacon. After a spring break was a test and I studied tons and tons and it was worth it. It's called self-discipline. And she, her last sentence is, even though you're lazy, <laughs> you could still learn self-discipline. That was Amelia. She's come so far. Wow. Here's another one. Self-discipline. Do I focus? Do I have self-discipline? Self-discipline is a strong word when it comes to focus. Self-discipline discipline is the ultimate key to success. It's the ability to make the make yourself do things when you don't want to do it. This person goes on and on. And later says, but one time I was racing my family and I won because I used self-confidence and self-discipline because I was like a raging tire, tiger running to catch its prey. And as more examples, wow, that was David's. Way to go, David. Here's the next one. Do you know what self-discipline is? What's self-discipline? Self-discipline is when is when is when you don't want to do something, but you do it anyway. On a sunny day, I, I was sitting on my couch thinking about what to do. Should I do my math homework or do my writing? Hmm. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe I could do my writing first because it takes longer and then I could do my math homework. So this person's talking about using self-discipline. Wow, that was Jacob. And he ends it with, finally, I'm done. And then my dad came in and said, are you done? Yes, I'm done. Wow, Jacob. There's one more. Do you know what self-discipline is? Do you have self-discipline? Do you do things you don't want to do? Wow, I love that question. 
Do you have self-discipline? Do you know anyone who has self-discipline? And later he says, to me, it means you never give up. Do you use self-discipline to win games or sports? The pitcher asks if I'm ready and I nod to reply. The pitcher rolls the ball hard. I kick as hard as I can. The ball turned into a meteor in the sky. I kicked the ball so far I had to run two bases. Specks of dust followed me. Oh my gosh, is that good? I run as fast as I could. I made it to second base. So when the next person kicked, I went to third base to home plate. And I love his some his main idea restatement at the end. That was the source of none other than self-discipline. Whoa. And he ends it with what can you conclude from this essay? You can conclude that you know what self-discipline is. You also know two ways you, you can use it. Did this essay teach you a bit about self-discipline? And that masterpiece was Johnny's. Wow, Johnny. <clears throat> Here's the next one that starts out with beautiful questions. And then person goes on tick 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 the clock was ticking as fast as a heartbeat I was typing as fast as I could but I kept on focusing I have to keep on I telling myself focus 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 wow that was Kanila beautiful Kanila here's the next one <clears throat> when soccer day was when soccer day was the biggest day of everyone's life and everyone was cheering with joy but when the whistle blew we took a break and the person goes on and on. And that was Zasha's. Wow, way to go, Zasha. Do you know what self-discipline is used for? Have you ever played a game and the thing made you win the game for you guys? Was self-discipline. Have you ever played a game and you were losing, but you thought about it and took a deep breath and dot, 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 won? Do you know why we need self-discipline? Self-discipline is good. Self-discipline, for example, is when you don't want to do your homework, but you do it anyway. That's what self-discipline is. And the person goes on to tell more. Wow, look at all that. And that was Jaden. Way to go, Jaden. Here's the next one. What is self-discipline? Self-discipline an essential skill? Do you accomplish your goals? Do you have self-discipline? Self-discipline is an essential skill that achieves your dreams and your goals. You can create healthy habits by listening, controlling your behavior, and being focused on your work. Self-discipline also means listening when the person is talking. Later on, that person says, work, focus, read, write, listen. Self-discipline is the key to school, like not doing drama, playing around in the classroom. Wow, look at all of this person's paragraphs. That was Anastasia. Way to go, Anastasia. There's another one that starts out with good questions. Do you know what self-discipline is? How do you do your self-discipline? How do you do your self-discipline at home and school? Do you make your own self-discipline in life? How do you develop self-discipline? And then this person goes on to tell how he does do self-discipline. To make self-discipline, you need to do these things. Stay focused, pay attention, be more responsible, and make progress in whatever you're doing. To be paying attention to your teacher, you need to have self-discipline. To have self-discipline, you need to be a bit more responsible. Love it. And that was Bella's. Wow, Bella. Here's the next. Does self-discipline get you good grades? Does being disciplined make you successful? Do you know how do you do you know self-discipline? Do you have self-discipline? Do you think self-discipline can help you accomplish your goals that you need to accomplish? It was a sunny day of school and I was working in class and I really did not want to do the work, but I had self I had discipline. Tap, 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 the computer buttons were flying. We're typing as I take notes on paper. Cool. Wow, that was Noah. Way to go, Noah. Do you know me? <laughs> Do you have self-discipline? Do you know self-discipline is good? Is it hard to focus? Were some of the questions in that one? Self-discipline is when you do stuff you don't want to do. For example, homework. You don't want to do it, but you do it anyway. Discipline is key to your success. 
Self-discipline is the same as persistence to me because you will go through some troubles before you accomplish your goal. Wow. That was Natalie's. Sweet Natalie. Do you know what self-discipline is? Are you self-disciplined? Do you know some of the best self-discipline? What does discipline mean? And that was Alex. Wow, Alex. Here's another discipline. What is self-discipline? Discipline is doing something even if you don't want to. Perhaps there was a time you were told to do something like clean your room. Did you do it? Ooh. If you did, you were being self-disciplined. What do you need to do to be self-disciplined? If you're trying to be self to trying to be disciplined, start doing something without someone asking you. And her amazing essay goes on and on. A paragraph later it says If you take a look at my writing, you'll see how much I have improved over the months and the years. This took much self-discipline and persistence. It it is the same with reading. If you drive yourself to use these methods, it makes you work your hardest you've ever had before. Discipline means you learn from mistakes and develop healthy habits. And then further down she says, one time that I had to use self-discipline was in my third grade, the Arizona State test. It took a lot of discipline to get a good grade. I could hear the pencils tapping on the desks and scratch paper rustling. I could hear the teacher's shoes knocking on the floor. I pick up my pencil and start to write out the first questions on my scratch paper. I soon finish the test and turn it in. When the results came in, I was so happy I had passed. This is how you use self-discipline and persistence to succeed. That was Amarissa's way to go. Here's the next one. Further down it says, and the essays are hard. I like it, but there are a lot of letters. And that was Brantley. Way to go, Brantley. Um, here's one more. Right now I'm learning about self-discipline. My teacher put a video on the screen that tells us about self-discipline. Self-discipline is when you push yourself until you succeed in your goal. It's hard to learn, but it's important to have but it is important to have in your life. You need to work to complete your dreams. Do you know what self-discipline is? Have you ever wondered what self-discipline is? Tap, tap, tap. I was trying to finish this test and get a good grade. One minute, I have one more answer to do. My teacher said, time is up, put your hands up. She said, we were all done. We got graded and we all had good grades. We forced ourselves to get it all right. It's called self-discipline. We were happy and cheerful to each other more beautiful paragraphs. Here's another one. Click, click, click. The sound of the keyboard is wild. I was typing as fast as a cheetah, trying to finish the essay so my teacher will be happy. And I know if I finish, I can prove I have self-discipline and prove that I can type and do my work. And, and one more paragraph he had is self-discipline is good to have, but it's also a really important skill to have in your life. It's like if you think you cannot do something, you push yourself and tell yourself you can do it. Even if someone is telling you that you cannot do something, just push yourself until you succeed in your goal. Oh, wow, Trenton, that was yours. Way to go, you. Here's one more. Um, and so further down, this person says, when we went into the classroom, I snatched my homework and slapped it on my desk. I think self-discipline is a good thing to do, to have, so you can have, live your life. That was Emma. Way to go, Emma. The next one, do you have an accomplishment? Have you ever accomplished your goal? Do you know what self-discipline is? Do you know what self-discipline It was a hot, sunny day. The trees were blowing. Kids were having fun at school. I did not want to go to school today, but I used self-discipline, so I went to school. That was Carmela. Way to go. Here's another one. Do you, uh, do you know what self-discipline is? It's when you achieve your goals. It's when you don't want to do it, but you push yourself. Do you know how, what self-discipline does to people? The more you, you, you show self-discipline, the more doors open in your life. And this person too goes on and on. Beautiful. And that was Jada. Way to go, Jada. Here's another one. Do you have self-confidence? Do you know what your accomplishment is? We're just some of the sentences in that one. Now is Braden's. What is self-discipline? Do you know what self-discipline is? Have you seen self-discipline? Self-discipline is something 
that you do not want to do when you don't want to do it. <laughs> but it's a success and a goal and you have to push yourself and it helps you in life. Cool. That was Mia's. She ended it with, I was breathing like a dog out of breath. My fell face felt like it was on fire. We won the game. All that work was self-discipline and it all paid off. And that was Mia S. Here's another one. Have you self-disciplined? I've been working hard for discipline and working hard is more important. And discipline and I went to make a touchdown to make it to the playoffs. Here's another paragraph. Have you ever gotten a goal and done your essay? This person goes on. That was Lucas. Wow, Lucas, way to go. What is self-discipline? Do you self-discipline? Were some of the questions in the first paragraph? I was at a, here's the next paragraph. I was at a basketball game and everyone was cheering like wild animals. Swish, the basketball made it inside the hoop and you could barely hear because everyone was cheering so loud. And this person goes on and on. And end of this one paragraph says, I said that when I get older, I'm going to be way better than you at basketball. They use self-discipline in their work. And this one, wow, a Samarian. Way to go, Samarian. Here's another one. Have you had self-discipline? This one is where you try to accomplish your goals. The reason why you need self-discipline is because you need to succeed at completing goals. You should work hard to be persistent and stay focused. First select a small goal, then you work your way up the goal. You create a mindset. And then further down in another paragraph, people were yelling, slide, slide, safe. The runners are ready to run. Snap, the ball was flying. Home run that takes time. You need to have self-discipline to make a point. You need to practice. If you don't have self-discipline, then you cannot win. So that is why we have self-discipline. Beautiful, that was Ian's. And well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, parents, how you can help at home is we're always writing every day we write. And if you have time at home, just, just have your fourth grader go with you on Google Classroom. Yep. And look at their current writing and have them just read it out loud. And we're looking for cents. We're looking for periods and capital letters and all those good things. So if you would do that um, at least once a week, oh, that would help us so much. Thank you, everybody, for joining us.